I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys are in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place.
threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. The humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Be okay. We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. 
This is the place. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. Hmm. 
This way, please. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet and so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room.
can be happening. He likes to play with us, creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Yes, Lockwood. Should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slocko. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. <laughs> 